Pagdating sa pag-aaral, para umangat daw sa iba, kailangan matalas ang memoria. Kaya naman ngayong umaga, isi-share namin sa inyo ang ilang memorization techniques. At ituturo sa atin yan ng ating Memory Advantage and LET, LET Review Coach na si Albert Basa. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Cara. Talagang nung bata ka pa lang ba, eh, magaling ka nang mag-memorize. Uh, actually, na-realize ko na gumagamit pala ako ng memory techniques tuwing mm -mm. Ah, nag-aaral ako. Mm -mm. Nung nag-research na lang ako, tsaka ko nalaman na meron palang tawag sa mga memory techniques na ito. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko nga sa GMA 7, palagi mm -hmm. niyong sinasabi na dapat oras-oras alam mo. Correct. Kung oras-oras dapat alam mo, dapat sharp ang memory mo. Oo, kasi baka alam mo ngayon, pero hindi mo na alam mamaya after Tama, two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> walang, walang sense na mm -hmm. may alam ka ngayon, tapos makakalimutan mo na siya mm -hmm. after ilang right, minutes. Right. So, ang, ang alam ng marami, ako nung bata ko, pag-memorize, ay eh, basahin mo ng basahin, ng basahin, ng basahin, hanggang tumatak siya sa utak mo. Tama ba yun na, you know, Actually, reading and reading yan. and reading? Ito yung pinaka-basic na memory mm -mm. technique. Ang tinatawag natin dyan ay repetition. Halimbawa, mm -mm. if you want to memorize a poem, mm -mm. i -re recite mo siya ng several times, 10, mm -mm. 20, mm -mm. until mag na yan sa memory mo. Oh -oh. Kaya lang, there are several other techniques mm -mm. na hindi naman alam ng marami sa ating mga estudyante at ganun din sa ating mga professionals. Oo, oh, oh. kasi ako, ako Albert, kasi sa trabaho namin as journalist, nag, nag, nagsispills kami at kailangan namin mag-memorize minsan ang aming mm -hmm. mga scripts. Ang problema ko, kapag binabasa ko siya ng word per word, pag may nakalimutan akong isang word doon sa chain, mm -hmm. nakalimutan ko na lahat. Right, kaya dyan papasok. So, yun yung problema kapag minememorize mo siya verbatim. Right, oo. Mm -hmm. Pero kung gagamitan natin siya ng mga special memory techniques na mm -hmm. napakadaling aralin, for mm -hmm. example, at lahat ng memory techniques ay naka-anchor lang sa isang memory principle. All right. At ito yung word na association. Association. Right. Oo. What is association? Mm -hmm. It's simply making a connection between two things. For example, mm -hmm. if I want to make an association between a okay. whiteboard marker mm -hmm. and a pillow, okay. all I have to do is make these two objects uh, dance together or fly together. Ibig sabihin, mm -hmm. when we associate, dapat mm -hmm. ridiculous yung image na nafo-form natin dahil gustong-gusto ng brain natin. Kapag uh, yung associate na association natin is not ordinary, mm -hmm. not usual, and mm -hmm. uh, parang out of this world. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan mag-iisip ka ng isang word. Kunyari, may pinapamemorize sa yung word. Mm -hmm. Iisipan mo siya, i-associate mo siya sa isang image. Sa isang word. Sabi nga nila, uh -oh. uh, learning is uh, formed through association. Mm -hmm. And there mm -hmm. would be no learning without memory. Mm -hmm. At ang maganda dito, ang sabi nga ni Harry Lorraine, sabi niya, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as good or bad memory only trained and untrained ones. So, ibig sabihin, memory mm -hmm. training is really very important in studying and not only in school, mm -hmm. but even in, in kahit anong career ang mm -hmm. piliin mo, mahalaga mm -hmm. ang memory techniques. Oo, oo. Lagi sa akin sinasabi ng tatay ko at yung tatay ko, matalas ang memory mm -hmm. noon. Sabi niya, sabi niya, Kara, hindi importante yung ma-memorize mo lahat ng binabasa mo. Ang dapat maintindihan mo siya. Right. Sa, sa school natin ngayon, ang tawag dito ay higher order thinking oh, skills. Oh, oh. Ang sabi nga nila, hindi mahalaga ang memorization because memory is the lowest form of cognitive skill. Okay. Kaya lang sa akin, what is there to be analyzed, to be synthesized if you cannot recall basic mm -mm, information in mm -mm, the first place? Mm -mm. At lagi nating tandaan na ang memory, parang computer lang yan, where mm -mm, you encode mm -mm, the information, mm -mm. you store the information, and then you recall the information. Mm -mm. Ang problema natin nandun sa encoding. So, mm -mm. dun papasok ang memory technique sa pag-encode ng information. Okay. At sa Mind Gym, ang laging ginagawa namin, we teach our students how to memorize different kinds of information. For example, if you want to memorize the periodic mm -hmm. table of elements, uh -oh. pwede mong gamitan Ako, ng... Ako, hirap nun! Oo, oh, oh, yung okay. lahat. Pero sa third year high school, pinapamemorize pa rin uh -oh. yan. Uh -oh. I-associate mo lang yung atomic number mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the element. If you want to memorize names and faces of people... So, kailangan i-associate mo lang? Laging association oh, sige, lang. Sige, sige. Subukan natin okay. to. Okay. Sige. Bibigyan kita ng 10 words. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll give you 10 words. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, sa utak mo, i-associate mo na siya with yeah, an image. Right. I'll be using a particular memory technique. Oh, sige. Okay. Tapos, pagkatapos nun, um, i-recite ko sa inyo in any order, order that you wish. In any okay. order? Yes, Cara. Oh, oh. sige. Uh, say the number first and then kailangan the, the word. Kailangan sabihin ko yung number. And wait for me to say next para right. ma-organize ko yung thoughts ko. Kasi kailangan ma-memorize niya. Okay. okay. So, meron dito kaming nilistang mga salita. Na hindi ko nakita. O oh, sige, okay. nasasabihin ko. Nasasabihin Gusto mo tingnan? Ah, so, mas maganda kung hindi mo ipakita sa akin. O oh, sige, game. Okay, number one. Okay. Business. Okay, uh, next. Number two. Mm -hmm. 
entertainment. Mm -hmm. Next. Pwedeng random. Pwedeng number 10 and then jump Wag to 5. Huwag na madali lang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pahirapan mm -hmm. natin? Mm -hmm. O sige, number 4, politician. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Number 8, earrings. Okay, next. Number 3, mm -hmm. sports. Mm -hmm. Next. Number 5, camera. Mm -hmm. uh, next. Number 6, jacket. Okay, next. Seven, table. Next. Nine, cell phone. Next. Ten, film. Okay. Okay. Next. Complete? <gasps> yeah. Okay, I'll try. Okay, Sige. game. Uh, how do you like me to recite the list? Sasabihin ko ano yung number one, ano okay, yung number Sige. two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ano ang number four? Number four, uh, a politician. Ah, galing. Number eight. Earrings. Number seven. Table. Number one. Uh, business. Number five. Mm. Okay, siguro kinakabahal ako. Pero five, um, camera. Tama. Okay. Number three. Um, sports. Number ten. Film. Sinabi ko na ba yung number nine? Ah, hindi pa. But number nine is cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> number six. Number six, jacket. And number one. Number one, business. Pero nakalimutan mo yung number two. Number two. <laughs> Alam niya talaga. Number no? two is entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment. <laughs> ako, test mo ako. Okay, sige. Uh, test sabi, mo ako. Sabi mo kangina, gumagamit ka din ng memory technique. Well, tinuruan ako ng tatay ko at ng kuya ko. And so, uh, you're using the, run, the number rhyme system. Pero, yeah. okay, subukan natin. Okay, number one. Headset. Okay. Ah. okay, okay. Okay. Okay, sige. Yeah. Number one. Headset. Okay, next. Just say next. Number three. Blazer. Pwede one, two, three Okay, sige. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> bedroom. Number two? Bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. Number three, blazer. Number three, blazer. Okay. Gosh. Number four, apple. Four, apple. Five, Basketball. Five. Basketball. Mm, you can make it. Relax <laughs> lang. <Okay. laughs> Number six, picture frame. Six. Picture frame. Picture frame. Okay. Number seven, yellow. Seven, yellow. Okay. Number eight, love. <gasps> love. Okay. Number nine, newspaper. Nine, newspaper. And number 10, rubber shoes. Number 10. Rubber shoes. Rubber shoes, okay. Okay, let's start <laughs> with the add numbers first. Okay. Uh, okay, number okay. one. Number? One is? Ah, ano nga ba yun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just recall, just try to recall your image, yung visual. Number one. Anong nakikita mo? Nakalimutan ko na. Okay, so again, let's oh, just move on. Number three. Number three. Blazer. Right. Okay. Number five. Uh, basketball. Very good. Number seven. Yellow. <laughs> number nine. A newspaper. Right. Very good. And <laughs> for the even numbers, number two. Number two. Ano yan eh? Two. Shocks. Nakalimutan Okay lang. Ko. Number four. Number two ba? Chi ano? Chicken? Hindi. No. <laughs> Mukhang may ibang number, visual may ibang na pumasa. Okay. Oh. Number, number four. Four. Uh, apple. Very good. Number six. Uh, picture frame. Very good. Number eight. Love. Yes. And number <laughs> ten. I, ano yun? Yung uh, rubber shoes. Okay. Now to number two. <laughs> Let's go back to number two. Okay. Oh, nine out of ten. Uh, congratulations. Ano, oh. ano yung number one? Number one is headset. headset. And number two. A bedroom. Okay, 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 okay. Marami, marami pa tayong matututunan. Right. You've used the, mm -hmm. sabi mo kangina, mm -hmm. it's the number rhyme system. Mm -hmm. And there mm -hmm. are several other uh, techniques na mm -hmm. pwedeng matutunan ng mga bata mm -hmm. uh, using memory techniques. And I think mem uh, studying becomes a breeze and mm -hmm. learning is more fun mm -hmm. if you have these uh, tools like mm -hmm. uh, memory techniques. And mm -hmm. that's what we do at Mind Gym Philippines. Mind Gym mm -hmm. Philippines. Okay. Tuturuan kang mag-memorize mm -hmm. at matuto talaga. Mm -hmm. okay. If uh, they want to visit us, mm -hmm. they can visit www. 
mindgymphilippines.com. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Cara, for the opportunity. At good luck sa lahat po ng mga estudyante mag-memorize at matuto. Right. Okay. Thank Thanks very much. Thank you. At susunod. Mahigit isang daang wildfires tinupok ang ilang bahagi ng Canada. Tinaguri ang French Spider-Man na dulas habang inaakyat ang pinakamataas na building sa Turkey. At sa panahong usong-uso ang mga digital gadget, may puwang pa ba ang mga lumang kamera at makinilya? Abangan yan sa pagbabalik ng News to Go.